Hey, this is Raul. Please act right. It's funny how some of these Western women automatically believe that they're in control of when they decide that they want to seriously start dating. Check this out. So remember I told y'all I had one more talk of stage in me, one more relationship, and that was it. I think I'm through. I think I'm through. Don't let these women fool you. These are the type of women who wasted their time with the bad boy type. And most of them, they were toxic in those relationships, or should I say, so-called relationships. I can't even get to the, to the fucking, uh, talking stage because everybody not looking for nothing serious, not looking for a relationship, not looking for a girlfriend. So now she wants to get a good guy because she's taking life seriously. But the good guys like myself are not wasting any of our time with these type of women anymore. What you looking for, a homeboy? No, because that would insinuate that we prefer men. Oh, no, no, no. They're looking for somebody they can just suck and fuck on. Have you ever heard a Western woman recording herself saying that they aren't cooking, they aren't cleaning, or doing anything for a man, but showing up and looking cute? You all have pretty much reduced yourself to nothing more than something to lay on. And have no obligations and no commitment to which I don't know who they looking for because I give all types of wife over here. Did you give any of your time to a nice guy who wanted to give you a commitment in your earlier years? And if you're such wife material, then why are you having such a hard time finding a good man to wife you up? I'm tired. I'm tired of just, you know what I'm saying, having a good time with somebody and then kicking them out of my house because I don't do sleepovers and movie-ins. She means she doesn't do them anymore. I guarantee you, there are some guys out there that'll tell you that she's done sleepovers with them before. Don't you find it interesting how once they're done playing around, now all of a sudden they have high values and priorities? That's one thing. I'm trying to, you know what I'm saying, cook breakfast for somebody, ask somebody how they like their eggs. Uh, no thank you. We can cook our own eggs. I want somebody to be asking me what I'm cooking for dinner tonight and tell me they come and cook for a plate. AKA, I'm tired of paying my own bills. Cooking for a man would be easier. <laughs> you couldn't figure that out before? I'm trying to go out and know everybody know I got a plus one because they know I go everywhere with my men. She no longer wants to be seen as one of those older women who blew it in her younger years. So she needs somebody to show off. You know, she doesn't want to be considered an old maid. It's giving why? What's wrong? What's wrong? That's the same thing us good guys were saying about you when you chose to run with Pookie and Ray Ray. I mean, come on, let's be serious. Am I the only one that can tell that she hardly dated good guys in her younger years? Can the man just come to the check and y'all come talk to me for a second? Like, what is it? It can't be the goals. I got goals too. And our goal was to have you when you were younger, before you started making stupid decisions with men. Now, our goals have changed. Our goal is to run from women like you who made bad decisions in your youth. Yo, you need to learn how to delegate your feelings and compartmentalize what the f you got going on. Y'all need to learn priorities. Learn how to communicate. The good guys you want now, they do know how to prioritize and communicate. And they're communicating with you loud and clear. They don't want you now. You gotta hang with a bitch every day. We don't hang with women who refer to themselves as the B word at all. I just, here's my thing. You might as well give it up, but go ahead. I really would like to know, like, so y'all get get into the comments, y'all let me know. But I just, I, it's an epidemic, it's an epidemic. What they say, it's an epidemic. If I can get the right. It's an epidemic. You're absolutely right. It's an epidemic. An epidemic that women started in Western culture that led men to not want you anymore. Of these men not wanting to be the man in the relationship. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, I don't understand what you're saying because it's an epidemic of men who don't want to be with women who want to be the man in the relationship. They do want to get their dicks wet. That's that's clear. We got that covered. Y'all want y'all want a hunch. And what heterosexual man do you know that doesn't want to hunch? But y'all don't want to do anything else, which is, for me is very confusing. You mean like how it's confusing to a man when a woman says she's not cooking and cleaning ever if there's a man in the house, but the man still has to pay all the bills? Because they'll be like, oh, I don't want a relationship. But I mean, we could we could chill and watch movies and stuff and hang out and go out to dinner and things like that. But like, I don't want a relationship. What the fuck? It simply means that as long as we don't give you a commitment, you act like you got some sense. The minute that we give you the commitment and the relationship, then here comes all your nonsense. So why would we bother with having a relationship with you? 
What's the relationship to y'all? The same definition you have. Only we were offering it to you 20 years ago. But you wanted to spend your time with the wrong dudes. Because for me, if all we doing is sucking and f***ing, baby, don't ask me how my day was. You call me when you want some coochie, and I'm going to call you when, when it's vice versa. Usually a guy that's going to come over and just hit it and quit it, he's not going to ask you how your day was. Those guys really don't care. And the ones who do ask, they were just being polite. I know how to have a sneaky link. I know how to have a friend with benefits. But I don't want one right now. Did she or did she not just prove my point? I know how to have a sneaky link. I just don't want one right now. See, time is of the essence now. So it's time for her to get serious after having years of sneaky links, a.k.a. booty calls. I want um, me. I want somebody to come and let's join together and we build something together. Look at the background behind her. She's basically saying she wants a man to come in and pay them bills for her because she's tired of paying them all by herself. Can we work on our goals together? Nope. Babe, because when we're in a marriage, we still need to be able to flow individually together. I guess nobody told her. We're not marrying women from Western culture anymore. Poor thing. I guess she didn't get the email. You might want to check your spam box, dear. And I'm in Atlanta. That's I, I forgot to leave that as the context. Atlanta, Chicago, Philadelphia, California, it doesn't matter. Women all over first world countries like the United States are experiencing the same thing. You modern day women made it clear that you didn't want us and you didn't need us. So your wish is now our command. We out. Uh oh, did her brain freeze? I'm just, I'm having issues. I'm having issues, just. Bear with me, y'all. Just bear, just please, just bear with me. And you're more than likely going to be having that same issue for the rest of your life. Fellas, do not try to save these women. This is what they ask for, so we're going to give them exactly what they want. Let them stay by themselves, pay their own bills, and take care of their own households. I want you to take a look at this woman. Does she strike you as the loving, caring, kind, nurturing type of woman that you want to make your wife? The excessive piercings, tattoos, long cough fingernails, and the way she speaks. If all we doing is sucking the fucking baby, don't ask me how my day was. You call me when you want some coochie, and I'm going to call you when, when it's vice versa. Tells me everything I need to know about what happened to her in her past when it came down to the type of men that she dated. This is the type of woman that runs with the hood type dudes. And now that the clock has almost ran out, now she wants the good guy to come along and save her. Fellas, don't do it. If you want female companionship in Western culture, the way a woman speaks, dresses, and carries herself speaks volumes of how she spent her younger years. I grew up in what you would consider the hood, so I know the hood when I see it. Ah! Hooray! 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 And on a lighter note, before I end, let me give a shout out to all the feminine, loving, caring women from other cultures like Thailand, Dominican Republic, Brazil, and the Philippines, just to name a few. Please know that we see you, we appreciate you, and some of us are coming to get you. Hey, somebody had to tell you, and I love you, so it might as well be me. Don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell to get notified when I post a new video. I post a new video every week. And in the meantime, don't save these women. Let them do it on their own. My name is Raul. See you in another video. So if you enjoyed this video, check out one of these two videos right here. I'm sure you enjoy them too. And if you like, you can visit my channel. I have plenty of videos there. Go ahead. Don't be scared.